Hello everyone. A review of research thesis is an important component of the evaluation process um, during research studies, including PhD and MPhil research studies. The review process is often a difficult process and many junior researchers, many student researchers find it quite daunting to understand and to respond to the reviews that they receive from the external evaluators and examiners. In this, in this brief presentation, I would like to share my views on how actually student researchers could respond to the thesis review process and the actually respond to the different comments and suggestions um, of the reviewers. So let us begin first with a brief definition of what actually the thesis review is. Well, review is generally a comprehensive, critical, objective analysis and evaluation of a research thesis, which is presented in the form of a report. So generally what happens is that review um, actually consists of a very comprehensive um, and a very critical and objective analysis on the part of the research reviewers. And so this is actually um, in the form of a report and that report is an outcome of the way the, the, the reviewers actually have evaluated the, the thesis. It is an integral part of the academic research process. Internal uh, thesis review committee um, is one part generally of, uh, of the PhD thesis review process. And also there is an external thesis review committee. Again, the external, generally the internal thesis review committee consists of, of uh, um, senior research professors in the department or in the university where the student is actually conduct, has studied for his PhD or her PhD thesis. And the external thesis review committee is actually, um, uh, this committee might consist of national and international academics who uh, receive the thesis uh, in order to give their feedback on the value and the relevance of the, um, of the thesis. The thesis review, why is it, now the next question is why is it that um, a review is actually an integral part of the thesis evaluation process. And ultimately it leads to the award of, of degree. So the reason is that um, thesis review process is important and an integral part of the, uh, of, of the process of PhD or MPhil um, evaluation because it brings in more objectivity to the research, to the conduct of research. Then it adds to the rigor of the research process, both in terms of critically looking at the process of research and also at the outcomes of research. So, it also helps in looking at the research process and product process in a, in a more critical way. And so it's, the, it's actually is critical analysis. Then it helps in the authentication of the research process. And it ultimately the aim of it is not just evaluation, but also improvement. So one reason why we have thesis reviews is actually because it helps in the improvement of the, uh, of the ultimate product, which is the thesis. And then peer review is actually an important element of the scientific process in general. Whatever scientific processes process is, generally scientific processes um, have this very integral part of peer review where um, senior colleagues and senior academics in the field are actually expected to have a critical look at the, the kind of research uh, 
process and product that has been done in a particular research product uh, project and so uh, this is an integral part of the scientific process then what are the outcomes of the review reports so generally what happens is that um, um, a number of things can happen um, and the student researcher um, could get a number of different types of, of reports and one is that the, the reviewers actually completely endorse and clearly pass the thesis. But this is something that is quite rare and it generally this, this does not happen very often. Then reviewers indicate minor revisions or suggestions for improving the thesis. And um, I, on keeping in view my own experience, most reports fall in this category. And the third uh, possibility is that the reviewers indicate major revisions. So these are not very frequent, but they are also part of substantial reports. And so quite a number of, um, quite a substantial number of reports are actually reports that uh, suggest major changes to the thesis um, for improving it and for bringing it to, to uh, a standard where the degree could be awarded. And so these are some of the, uh, the, the, the ways, um, the outcomes of the review process. Now, this is the, actually the, the crux of this particular presentation. As I said in the very beginning that many research students find it quite daunting, quite unnerving, and, uh, um, and difficult to respond to uh, reviews for a number of, of reasons. Um, again, I would say in, in some cases, there are generally three or more reviews for PhD studies. Um, the number of reviewers might vary um, in, in line with the requirements of particular universities. But generally, um, in, in more developing countries, uh, uh, there are reviewers from inside the country and from the more developed countries. And for MPhil uh, studies, there are generally two or more reviews for master or MPhil studies. So the, the way you want to, how would you as a, as, as a student researcher respond to reviews? Um, again, to reiterate my point that it is generally not very easy to respond to reviews especially if the reviewers have come up with, uh, uh, with major revisions or with issues that are very significant and they're missing in the thesis. So the first thing that you need to do is read um, the reviews one by one and noting down the main observations and the main comments that they have made. Then look for uh, certain points of appreciation. So generally there are, uh, uh, there are um, reviewers who are quite generous with the giving appreciation, especially to in encourage young researchers. And um, the, those kind of comments actually have a very positive impact on the way the, the student researcher respond to those reports. So the points of appreciation uh, is something that you should that, that what you should not um, in the very beginning when you are actually reading and responding to the reviews then look for minor observations and questions and suggestions and after that um, you might note down the major observations if uh, the, if there are if you feel that there are certain major observations or if the reviewers have actually noted um, and highlighted certain major observations. So that's how you begin um, reading and noting down and organizing the process of responding to the, the reviews. Now, responding to the reviews, 
my suggestion is that you should group together points of appreciation and strength of the thesis um, that, the, that the reviewers have identified. Then group together common points related to minor issues and group together common points related to major issues. Um, and so uh, what I'm suggesting is categorization of, of points of appreciation and categorization of points that are related to minor issues and then categorization making a category of points that are related to major issues that have been identified. So after the first reading and making categories of the observations, what you need to do is um, you might not be feeling very well, especially if uh, the, the major issues are quite significant and you feel, um, feel it quite daunting to respond to it. So the first thing is you should relax for a while, just leave everything away and give yourself space to relax and to let the emotions uh, subside, to have a more rational, objective view of, of the reviews. Generally, it happens that in the very beginning, um, it is quite difficult to accept some of the major uh, observations that have been made. And um, especially after you have submitted your thesis after so many years, and then you are, ex you are not expecting major revisions. But if that happens, what you need to do is that you will be in a state of kind of um, emotion emotions will be running high. So um, as research students and as scientists, it is a good thing to keep calm and to relax and actually um, to give yourself space so that you, could be, you, you are able to respond to the comments in a more rational way later on when you have um, uh, then um, another look at what has been actually put to you. Then, responding to reviews, actually, what you can do then is read again to have a better insight into the comments and suggestions. Sometimes it happens that when you read once, you find it like almost impossible to respond to certain uh, points, or, and you might also find some of the points quite unjust and irrational. But when you read those again, what happens is you see that um, some of those that were not making a lot of sense to you later on uh, make, uh, start making sense to you. And so the first thing you need to do is respond with thanks to the appreciation that you have received. This is the first thing that the positive thing that you need to do. Then respond with, uh, begin with the revision process by responding to and incorporating the minor, easier observations in each individual review report. And this will actually boost your self-confidence and morale if you, you, you get done with that. You may agree and change, or you may disagree and give your reasons for keeping things unchanged if you are absolutely convinced. So again, you don't have to accept everything from the reviewers, but whenever there is the case where you think that you don't have to agree with them, you should, have, uh, you should be absolutely convinced and you should have significant ground for not agreeing with the reviewers. After all, the reviewers are senior academics and perhaps in a more power position. So you have to look at that. Then, if you are in doubt related to certain observations and or parts of the reports, you might consult your supervisor and peers if you are in doubt. Then, the next thing is, once all the minor observations have been incorporated, you are in a better position to respond to the major observations. Now, you have done a part of your work, you feel psychologically more relaxed um, because you have already begun the process of actually uh, revising the thesis and improving it. So again, uh, when it comes to the major observations, 
Uh, you might agree with the suggestions and revise your thesis accordingly, or you might disagree. Um, as these are, but as these are major um, issues identified, you may closely work with your supervisors in responding to these issues, both in case of agreement to accept or improve or not to accept. But again, as I said earlier, um, in the case of minor, minor observations, it is even more important to justify your stance if you do not agree. And so you have to rationalize your response of disagreement. Here, you need more of the of support and, and consultation of your supervisor. So this is, at this stage, the more you get these, the, the, super, the, the consultation of the supervisor, that will be something very useful. And then write detailed information sheet on what changes have you made in, in what form and where and in, in or on which pages or sections in your thesis. This, is, this also shows that you are systematic and that you are serious about your changes, that you are systematic and that you have responded to the, uh, uh, to the reviews with all seriousness. And that actually is something that will send very positive signs uh, to the reviewers. And the last thing is that be polite, concise, and rational in your responses. So whether you are responding to minor issues whether you are responding to major issues, what you need to do is keep polite in your tone and in your language, and also be concise. Do not say things that are not required, but also um, do not shorten things too much where your message is not very 